These are unique and challenging times, but these are also very important times because consumers are changing behaviors, some of which will last long into the future. So as the immortal Yogi Berra once said, you can observe a lot by watching. We too need to be watching right now, not just our sales numbers, but looking at our group text messages, Facebook posts, the news, virtual discussions. What are those changing behaviors that we're hearing about? More importantly, what are the underlying needs driving those behaviors? So as we enter into this quarantine phase of life, we need to be watching, how are we feeding ourselves? For example, if we can no longer go to Starbucks, are we using our existing coffee and espresso makers? Or are we craving an upgrade? Are we baking more with our kids? Are we testing our culinary skills? Are we working on our crafting methods as a bartender? There are many new behaviors that are being created. And what we need to be doing is looking at what are those things? Can we help inspire them? Can we help connect to the consumer and help solve those needs with them? And it's not just consumers that we need to be watching. We also need to be watching retail around us, not only within the housewares industry, but outside of us. For example, we see in the restaurant industry how agile they've been. They've been creating curbside pickup, marketing on their buildings, developing new processes, and actually marketing and creating spaces to make it easier for the consumer to pick this up. Is this something we can do in the housewares industry? Now, I see some retailers doing this, but could we even expand it more? Oftentimes we talk about contactless. Well, is there a broader definition of contactless or is it just about how we sign the order and execute out? And it's not just there. We see automotive manufacturers speaking to people who are unemployed and offering that they can delay payments for four months. Are there innovations that we can do maybe from a financing perspective that helps consumers buy our products or helps consumers along the path that they're on right now? Bottom line, this is a time as an industry that we need to be agile, innovative, and watching.